Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, we are going to be altering the color of a PNG in Affinity by Canva. Um, this does work for anything you wanna put in. You can use a PNG, you can use like a photo of a person, you can use a JPG, whatever it is, chunk it in here, this is gonna work for it. Um, you can see I started with this design. It was just a little something I downloaded from Creative Fabrica and then I have altered it into several different colors. Um, there are two ways we're gonna do this. The first way is really quick, really easy, not completely customizable. The second way takes a little bit longer, but is fully customizable. You can change literally anything in the design that you wanna change. So I'm gonna delete this. And we are just going to start from scratch. So let me, um, I'm in Affinity by Canva. I have a 3000 by 3000 pixel artboard on my screen. Um, I will link another video if you don't know how to get this set up so that you can set it up just like me. Affinity is completely free. You do have to have a Canva account to use it. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the image. I am in the vector persona. I'm just gonna use it because I'm here to bring in the image. I'm gonna use the place tool. If you don't see that, you can come to file and place. And let me go find the image that I got from Creative Fabrica. It's that one there. You'll know it's ready when you get this little arrow thing. And then all you do is just click and drag to whatever size you want it to be. And there is the image that we are going to start with. I'm gonna leave this here and I'm gonna make a copy of it so you can see the edits side by side. So again, I'm in the vector persona. I'm just gonna get a new artboard. So I've clicked my artboard tool here. I'm gonna hit insert artboard and it puts one right there beside the first one. Okay, for this tutorial, I do wanna hop into the pixel persona. So you'll just wanna click into that one I'm gonna take this original design and just duplicate it so I've got it selected. I'm gonna hold Alt and drag over. And you'll see here in the Pixel Persona, we have different menu options. Vector is what I usually work in for my tutorials. We've got these tools here. Once we hop to Pixel, we've got a lot of different stuff. Okay, so like I said, first one, super, super easy. You're just going to select your image. It's already selected, but you can come over here and select it as well. And then we're gonna click this adjustments tool down here. It's gonna bring up this kind of a menu. The first thing we can do is hit this HSL. Okay, I'm gonna drag that over so we can see our design. And it's already on just whole design. You can take it and you can start changing the colors of the entire design if you just want maybe, you know, like some neon stuff or something. That's a thing you can do. That's not what we're gonna do though. Let me get that back to zero. Um, hello, zero, thank you. To isolate individual colors, you can come in here and select a color. So I'm gonna start working on this red heart. I'm going to select the red and then I'm gonna turn it more um, pinkish. It does take some work. There we go, that's gonna get it pink because it finds all of the red throughout the design, not just the heart, but it goes in and finds all of the red. So that's a little bit pink. And then I can come down here and I can um, adjust the saturation, bring it up or down. I'm gonna bring it up like that, the luminosity, We've got that in here, maybe, okay, perfect. And now I want to change, if I close that out, you can see the difference in my two bears, okay? Now I'm gonna change the color of the fur. So I'm gonna just isolate the yellows and let's lighten that up a little bit. Okay, so now we have a lighter fur. Those are simple, simple, easy, easy things that you can do 
if you're just wanting to change the look of it. If you don't have anything specific in mind, but you just kind of want a little different look. I'm going to come and delete everything that we just did. Whoops and show you one other way that's quick and easy. So we've got this selected, we're hitting our adjustments. The first thing we did was the HSL adjustment. Well, we can also come in to recolor. And again, that's another way that you can recolor the entire design if you kind of want it all one color. If we want a blue teddy bear, we can come in and we can do it that way as well. Again, I'm going to delete these adjustments. Okay. Now, if you want to get more specific, awesome. We can do that too. Let me delete this bear all together and just scroll back over to my main bear image. This one takes a little bit of work, a little bit of practice, but it's not difficult. Okay. What you want to do is let's select our bear. And then we want to come up here to the object selection tool. We want to expand that out, click the little down arrow there and get the selection brush tool. Now it brings up this huge circle that is too big. We're going to work with it in a minute, but some things that are important, you need it to snap to the edges and you want to put in soft edges. Before we get too far into this, I want to point out this image that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica is AI. It does not have clean, crisp lines. Once I started editing this, I realized that and I decided just to go ahead and roll with it because a lot of the things you're going to find today are AI. If you get an actual hand-drawn clip art image or hand-drawn design that has crisp edges, this is going to be so much better but I kept the AI because it does work and I wanted to show you, you can do this with AI images as well. All right, we are just going to isolate the heart. So, like I said, this circle here, it's way too big. We're gonna come up here and adjust the width. We want to be on this first one here. Why won't it do the little, well, this is the add. This is the subtract, this is the add. We wanna be on the first one. There it is, now it says add. Okay, I'm going to increase the size of my design. I just hit the control and the plus sign. And I think that circle can be a little bit bigger. Let's put it to like 100. Okay, it's still selected. It's just not showing the circle, but that's okay. I'm just gonna start. So I'm gonna start in here and I'm gonna work around the red heart that I want. If it goes a little wonky, don't worry. You see how it went up there? These marching ants is what we want to have outlining the entire heart. If it gets a little crazy, don't worry about it. We're going to come back and edit and fix this. Right now, we just want the basic shape of the heart. Okay. You need it to be solid, so come in here. There we go. So I have a solid outline around my heart. There's something funky going on here, a lot of funky going on up there. We're going to come back and fix it all. We just wanted a basic shape to start with. Okay, now we're going to switch over to the subtract and we're going to bring that brush size down a little. And now we're just going to start pulling in, just telling it, no, I didn't want that as part of my design. And I'm just holding down my mouse and tracing around. I don't know what happened there at all, but that can get fixed. So we're getting a cleaner shape around our heart. Okay, that's much cleaner, but we're not done. You wanna get as close as you possibly can. I'm going to increase the size. Um, I'm gonna decrease the size of my little brush here and I am just going to come in even more and take out what I don't want. Again, I am using this subtractor. I'm taking out what I don't want. Okay. 
okay? Now I'm gonna switch to the add and I'm gonna add in things that I do want. Like I wanna actually get all of that little heart over there. Okay, that's pretty good. I am going to be even more detailed. So I'm gonna speed up the video until I've got this heart as outlined as I think I possibly can. Okay, so all I was doing, I was just switching back and forth between the add and the subtract, adjusting the size of my tool until I got that outline as good as I think I possibly could. And what I was saying with this being AI, let me get this as big as I can. There is just a lot of pixelation up in here that you can't, you can't do anything about. Um, it's up at the top of the bear too. Let me get up there. On this pink bow, it was pretty bad. I was doing the bow, um, you know, when I was testing it out to work on everything before I go live here. But it does still work. Okay, I'm not going to do the bow. You can also get your little marching ants around the bow if you want, but for the tutorial, I'm just gonna stop here at the heart. Once you have everything outlined that you want, you need to duplicate this image. So it's right here. It's the image that I've got selected. I can even go here into my selector tool and just make sure, yep, that is what I want. You wanna right click over here in your layers panel and duplicate. I know it doesn't look like much happened, but it did. And you can see that my selection now changed to just this heart. When, it, when you've duplicated it and when you get just your little marching ant part selected, I want you to come over here and hit mask layer. Now again, doesn't really look like too much happened, but it gave us a separate layer to work with. What we can do now is we're in this masked layer. I know I am because I got this funky little mask thing here. Just select your color. Don't click on the mask because you've got nothing up there if you click on, click on the mask. Click on your color or your whatever it is that you're doing that you want to change and now we can start editing. We can do any of those things that we did previously. We can come down here. We can recolor that heart. Let me move that out of the way. We can make that heart yellow. We can make that heart turquoise. We can make that heart blue. We can change to whatever it is we want. Um, we can, let me reset all of that come back to my adjustments, we can do the HSL, we can isolate out the reds, and we can come in here and do it this way as well. Oh, that was a cute, I wanted the creamy looking one, that's cute. Um, let me reset this. You can black and white, and it's gonna turn you white so many different things that you can do to isolate just the exact part of the design that you want to isolate okay so i'm going to leave it there let's say that's what i wanted and i'm good to go okay so what we want to do let me delete this artboard here okay so now we just want to duplicate our first artboard i'm going to click the artboard up here hold alt and drag over and we're gonna name this one, if I double click up here, I can name that white heart. So that changes. Okay, that is a done design, but I still have my marching ants here. I can come back here and change this even more. If I wanna get several different colors like I did in my um, thumbnail on the video, all I do is click back on my first one, come back in here to my adjustments, and um, let's do the HSL. Let's make a little, you gotta delete your first adjustment, sorry. There we go, okay. Now I can add a new adjustment. Eh. 
I'm gonna come and do the recolor instead. There we go. Now I've got kind of my turquoise. Perfect. Okay, that one's done. So I would just select my artboard, hold Alt. I'm gonna drag down for this one. And I can name this one blue. And that one is done. And you can go on and on and on from there. If you just have one, you can you know, select the one that you want. Let's say this is the one we want. We're gonna export this out. I've got it selected. I'm gonna come to File, Export, Export here. We can export this as a PNG and it is on white bare, but you see here we can do artboard one and it'll show me what artboard one looks like. It's thinking about it. You see there it's thinking, okay. But because we named these, we know what we want. So there's white bear. Okay, we can export that just like it is. Or you can come up to slice. If you don't see this slice, just click in here and turn it on. Um, in most instance, instances, it will be turned off, but you can just click your little dots up here and come turn slice on. And then when you do slice, I'm gonna decrease the size of my screen. I can select everything, or I can come in here and select them individually. Take that one, hold control, take that one. Well, it's not letting me. I'll do it over here in my layers panel. Select this one and that one, okay. And now I can export both of these at the same time. And we will export slices. Name it what you want and then you're gonna have everything there all with one export. All right guys, that's all I've got for you. We'll see you next time.